My name is Paul Okubo. Uh, my son is, his name is Ziza, Ziza Okubo. Uh, he's nine years old at the moment, and uh, he was diagnosed when he was two years old. People in our part of the country, our part of the world, think that it's a, it's, it's a death sentence, and they, and they, and they think that the, the kids uh, cannot be normal children. And uh, it's, a, it's a huge, uh, a huge problem because uh, when you start to, 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 to treat the child too abnormally, uh, then you miss that part of childhood that is important for sort of every every child to grow. So in in many ways, kids with autism are just like you know, like, just like normal kids, but they just sort of see the world differently and and have different sort of access to the things around them. Some of the daily struggles with um, having a, a child on the uh, a spectrum is is that the the things that you would do uh, with a, with a kid who is not as on the spectrum are sort of easier. So it's easier to talk to them and easier to communicate and tell them when sit down, stand up. But uh, with kids with autism, you have to sort of learn uh, a whole different way to communicate, a whole different way to parent. Parenting is already difficult on its own. Uh, this just adds an extra level uh, to the understanding you must have about your child. You must know the child, uh, every aspect of, of, of the child. You must know everything about how he, he especially the child is, is, is non-verbal. In our case, this is how was non-verbal for uh, quite a while. For, so for a child that can't tell you what's wrong. He can't tell you where he's hurting, if he's hurting. He, he, he can't tell you I have a headache or have a tummy ache. He can't tell you other things. So you have to quickly figure out the signs to, to, to let you know what's wrong, uh, uh, you know, what's wrong with the child and, and sort of what the best thing to do. I think as a parent, that has been the biggest uh, challenge, knowing exactly what to do and knowing how to read the signs. As a man, you know, the plan that a man has with his son, you know, when when I'm growing up, when I was growing up and I wanted a son, there are many things that I wanted to do with my son, as, a, as every man wants to do with his son, you know, play soccer with the boy, teach him how to drive. But you realize that, that you can't do all those things, you know, the way that you, you want it. And it's a big blow sometimes to say, look, you know, um, I can't take my son. Uh, when I go to play soccer, I see other dads taking their kids to play soccer, and I know that my son <coughs> may not be able to. Uh, do things like that. It's sometimes it's a bit of a, a downer, uh, to be honest. But he discovered that he can do a lot more amazing stuff. Uh, you know, uh, my son plays music by ear. He listens, he hears a song on TV and goes to play it on the piano. It's amazing. I've not seen that before in my life. He he draws from memory um, and and you know, draws very well. He has an Instagram page now where where his pictures go up, uh, and and you know, the response has been amazing. So. Even though he can't do what you would, you know, a normal kid would do, he does things that are a lot more, to me, amazing. My family and I had a, that journey as well, where we couldn't even find, you know, you know places to take the son until we started looking, and and, and you you may have to have several therapists. At, at one time, we had three or four at the same time for different issues, and so the advice, first things first, is to take time to understand the child. I mean. A lot of times I find a child, don't give up on the child, don't think it's a lost cause. There's a key for every child. For my son, it was music and art that finally, you know, brought him out. Uh, before that, he wasn't really, he wouldn't do anything. But the minute he started listening to music and started drawing, he, he started getting some words. Now he has about a 100, 200 words that he, and, and he didn't have any before. Uh, so it's finding that key, that thing that, that, that can, you know, light the spark, you know, uh, for the boys, the first thing that you have to do, and then get help. I mean, a lot of times in Nigeria, families, we keep these things to ourselves. I don't know why it's sort of like a stigma. Traditionally, people don't like to talk about these things. But the more you talk, I find, I found for us that the more we spoke about it, the more we sought help, the more help we got. Well, I mean, I'm very proud of my wife because she was able to throw herself into the whole subject matter and learn as much as anyone learned directly. Take the classes, go for the courses, go for the the seminars, uh, I think GTV has a, a great one that they do every year, things like that. Learn the subject matter, study it, read about it, read about the foods, the medicines, the supplements. Know as much as you, as you can because this is your child after all and, and no one can give your child the sort of care that he needs better than, than you can.